Hi, um, I had this on my blog, I um, can't remember when it was, sometime in the past week I'm sure, and it was two separate pieces of work, so the first piece being this, which is paper and silk that's been stitched and embellished, and then this, which is three, it's hard to get the, just let me see if I can go out a bit more, um, which is three uh, vintage handkerchiefs. So two vintage handkerchiefs embellished with another piece of paper and scrim uh, embroidered and joined together with a vintage handkerchief as a base. So what I thought was, what my thinking was, I'm trying to get out of the camera here. What my thinking was, was that I could line the handkerchief piece with this piece, okay? And then I could roll it up into a soft folded book like so. Ah, uh, but, no, I've done, I've done it the wrong way. I think it probably should have gone that way, the line, and it's too late now. So maybe I can't do that now, because I was going to roll it up like that. Although I could still do it. That could roll, I'll have to do it now, because I've folded, I've done it, I've attached it. So that could roll like that, and then this could come over as a cover. So you would have something that was sitting like that and it would unfold, so it wouldn't be rolled, it would be folded, I guess. So it's still gonna work. I think actually, no matter which way I'd have put that, if I'd have put it that way, would have still had that issue, because as I'm rolling, this would have rolled as well. So what it's gonna have to be is a folded book. And you might think, well, you've got a bit there that doesn't fold in, I know that, that's a plan, a deliberate plan, trust me. That's gonna be folded over there, just to alter that edge a little bit. Okay, so then that would fold like that, and then that will fold over like that. Now it doesn't cover the whole thing, I'm aware of that, but that doesn't matter because um, this is going to be embellished, and I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. So you're going to just see as equally as pretty embellished when you open that like that, okay. It's all a bit of a, it was just a spur of the moment thing, but I'm confident I can make it work. I'm not worried at all about not being able to make it work because at the end of the day, if you look here, this isn't straight. This paper stuff grows organically and it isn't always straight. So that's gonna be attached. I've started that with buttonhole lace there and it's gonna veer off, but that doesn't matter because then I have a plan to add something here something pretty along here that can be attached um, and it won't be visible on the front because there's so many layers going on here I can attach it to those layers and over here again it's not straight but I'm adding sequins here and beads and I'm a bit fixated I'm going to pull this camera in. I'm a bit fixated with this combination at the moment I don't know if you've noticed it you'll never find the camera where am I there so I'm very fixated with that colour combination of beads and sequins at the moment. They're going to go all the way along that edge and then again I'll add something, any edges that I feel need more help, I will add something to them. So it's not just a simple case of oh I'm going to use that to line that and then I'll do this and I'll do that because as you're working on things um, you discover well if that's what my plan is and that's what I'm going to do then I'm also going to have to follow through with X, Y and Z. So, you know, these things evolve and you get more ideas. I've been saying that on my blog for a couple of weeks now, how one thing leads to 10 more things, which leads in turn to 20 more things. But that's good. That's how you feed your creativity, I guess. So the buttonhole's going along there. So I'm not going to do it with you now. So this is paper, actually. The way that my needle was then is now. That's paper. Um, I've been so long removed from my sewing machine it's you wouldn't believe with moving house and everything and getting builders in and um it's such a long time since i've been on my sewing machine and i really must get back to that because the paper and the sewing machine and the scrim are the foundation of this piece i guess they're what inspired this so i really do need to get back to this so i'm going to continue to the buttonhole lace down there okay and then I will also 
continue to do these beads and sequins. Sorry, these beads and sequins along here. I just love that combination, that colour combination. Okay, so I thought I'd explain that to you because I did put it on my blog, like I said, but it might have been hard for you to imagine what my intention was. Okay.